Well, thank you for having me on here. I think it's an interesting question here. Uh, Post-COVID, we are seeing a lot of changes in the way consumers are, are debating uh, the way they make purchase decisions. With market now starting to open, we have noticed the fact that hoteliers are not actually reacting correctly to the current trend of what consumer is looking for. For example, hotels, we, we, we still notice a lot of hotels are, st for example, they put a package, they make a price offer. In my view, they are confusing the consumer more and more. Why do I say so? Because when they make an offer, they give them a lease of offer. To me, I, a terminology, I call it a, like a toilet roll. You give them 10 week plan to decide when they make a uh, when they inquire on the date of travel. I think that is very dangerous because I think hotels need to use intelligent pricing. They must have system to, to, for example, understand that if a consumer is making a booking, understand the period they are booking, which is the length of stay, the time of booking between the booking date and the arrival date, uh, where they come from with some Hotels are really adopting geo uh, pricing, uh, device pricing, meaning either they're using mobile or using uh, desktop. Okay, and then seasonality pricing, that's hotel event that may impact the pricing. I think hotels should be able to give the consumer just one price. And that's the best price set based on those such criteria and the booker's uh, uh, booking pattern to offer one price rather than giving them 10 pricing, which is, to me, is quite silly because that's not intelligent pricing. That's basically to consume, confuse the consumer with a list of prices that they may, they may not end up making any booking. So I believe hotel need to adopt intelligent pricing. Secondly, I think we talk about gratification. I believe that the proper word should be value propositions. When a booker makes a booking, they are looking at value. What value do you provide? If you say 10, 15 years ago, having tea and coffee in the room was a value. But of course, hotels, some hotels do make a charge of that, like Wi-Fi, using a Wi-Fi. If you provide free Wi-Fi, it's value. But again, 10 years ago, hotel charge for using Wi-Fi. 10, 15, 20 dollar a day. Consumer pay for it, but they're not happy with it. But today, you probably, you probably get free Wi-Fi, free tea and coffee making machine in the room. But what we're trying to do is that hotels should escalate a bit higher to say that, look, what about early check-in, late checked out, uh, upgrading, free breakfast. This should be part of the value proposition that the hotel should be able to make an offer in order to make quicker conversion of consumer decision-making. The third area I'll probably see something more interesting and exciting is it will come the bid and auction concept. For example, consumer may say, look, I want to make a holiday. I want to make a bid. Bid meaning the price I'm willing to pay for. So I said, OK, I'm going to look for hotels, let's say, for example, in Bangkok a four-star hotel in Bangkok, maybe along a certain locale, maybe we call that Sukhumvik Road. There, must, uh, there should be a system, which perhaps we are developing that, to say that if a consumer put a four-star hotel willing to pay 2,000 baht at, along Sukhumvik Road, the system will be able to invite four-star hotels in Sukhumvik Road to make an offer. So the hotels will get to know the profile of the travellers, Maybe a guy from Singapore, age group 40, willing to bid for 2,000 2, baht for a four-night stay. So these hotels, when they get the offer or the bid, they are able to make offer. And when, each time when they make an offer, maybe from 2,000 to 3,000, whatever rate they make, the consumer is able to evaluate those offers. At the same time, the competing hotel are able to see what offer has been made by competing hotel without disclosing which hotel has made those offers. 
So I believe those bidding concepts would come. Likewise, to help hotels increase their revenue or even their low period or high period, it doesn't really matter, allow them to, to have the ability to auction the space. Meaning, you put a price, let the market decide how much they are willing to bid out bid each other so that the hotels actually get a higher pricing for that matter. So we see the bid and auction concept may come soon enough. So to sum up, this would be the three trends I'm looking at, intelligent pricing, value proposition, bid and auction.